All right, here with Jeff Mayweather. What's going on, man? It's cold. It's cold. Yeah, you're always cold, man. You're, you're like a... I'm not going to be PC here, but you're like a female, man. You're always cold. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> At least when it comes to temperature tolerance, you are, I guess. Uh, hey, I wanted to catch up to you because... Well, not that I won't be talking to you a lot coming up, but... This is kind of like the calm before the storm. You're getting ready to be really busy the next couple of months, huh? Uh, I'm hoping to. So we are, and you're stuck with me. That's got to be exciting for the next two weeks, yeah, as much as you like me. Yeah, that's horrible. We're gonna fly together. We're gonna, we're gonna. Oh my god. We're gonna share a house. All that kind of stuff. We're gonna oh be. Oh my god. Man, that's gonna be. You're lucky. Think of all the fun interviews we can do. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no. Well, first things first. Uh. You'll get there in the middle of the morning there in Dominica, or excuse me, Puerto Rico. You're going to the Logan Paul fight. Uh, looking forward to that. I mean, I'm sorry, Jake Paul, not Logan. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So, so we might have some access to, to Jake Lore over there. That'll be. Uh, you I'm, never actually got to have any real words with him, have you? Um, no, not. I only. I remember I did the interview with with um with his brother. Yeah, with Logan, Logan was here. Yeah, that was back in the beginning of the, their whole... He hadn't even had a, a single fight yet. Yeah. Um, of course, we had... A, Jake was nice enough to do an interview with Fabulous on our channel, I guess, a couple of years ago now. But uh, looking forward to that. Um, yeah, you and uh, Jake Paul. Yeah, Jake Paul is nice. He seems to be a nice guy. Yeah, so we squashed the beef, right? You know, they're... I didn't have no beef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Well, we'll see. But yeah, it looks like. What do you? So, what do you think about what he's done? And and you know, got one loss now, but it seems like he's taking on these uh, quote unquote real boxers at this point. What do you think about the path he's taking? Well, I think that. Well, I mean, I think he's he's taking a great path, and I mean, I think that. But more importantly, is the other people that he's starting to attach to, you know, to the things that he's doing. I mean, he's he's putting money in these in these females' pockets, mm -hmm. something like they never seen before, and that's you know that's amazing. The crazy thing is, you know, I was one of the ones that defended him, saying, "Hey, you know, if you're if you're building your way up, fight all these ex UFC fighters or older boxers, because you might as well make money in the way up. If you just fight a random boxer, no one's going to care." And here he is; he's not even the main event. Of course, you know that's like you had said; he's doing something for the boxers, putting uh, you know Serrano on the the main event to give her a boost but you know he's taking a back seat and just seems to be taking it seriously i guess at this point and fighting like i said uh real quote-unquote real boxers who's he fighting yeah he's fighting uh ryan borland uh 17 and two so far so but a guy with you know at least on paper a good record a guy we're not familiar with but you know it, that's kind of the point i guess you know he's here just uh, yeah makes sense so, so you think he's done with these, uh, you know, with the... What, the UFC fighters? Yeah, those kind of things. And tell her to well, look I at mean, him. It, it seems like he's, you know... But, I mean, still, even even fighting the U, UFC fighters are entertaining. Yeah. I mean, at least they're, they fight, those are fighters that are known. You can get a whole lot of boxers that nobody knows, and they may have a good record, and, and nobody knows nothing about them. Right. And... You know, like I said, I guess as he gets more fights here, 10 fights in his career or whatever, you know, I guess you got to get these more legit opponents if he's being serious, which it seems like he is about becoming a, a world champion someday. Who knows if he'll make it. Well, we'll see. Then we're going from Puerto Rico, going to Saudi Arabia. You ever been over the Middle East? Yeah. Oh, you went to Dubai with the, We went to Dubai. Yeah, I've been to Dubai twice. Yeah, okay. Never been to Saudi Arabia though, right? It's the same. <laughs> no, that's like saying you've been to you've been to Nevada, so therefore you've been to New York. Oh, or can't it's it's two different. Uh, Dubai is United Arab Emirates, Riyadh is Saudi Arabia, so two different countries in the okay. Middle East. I guess more like going Canada, United States. I guess different countries, but I guess similar to us uh, ignorant Americans over here that don't know much. It's all the Middle East, it's all the same, right? Yeah, something like that. Uh, big fight over there, Anthony Joshua. And Francis Ngannou, looking forward to that. Yeah, that should be a very interesting fight. So, so we had. I, I'm just curious to see because, you know, I know we support Dewey so much, and we never put anything past what him and his fighters are capable of doing. But if we were being honest, both of us didn't think he had much of a shot against Tyson Fury. Obviously, he, in a lot of minds, uh, won that fight. 
I'm super curious to see if that was a one-off and Joshua sees what he's got potentially in front of him and takes it much more seriously than maybe Tyson Fury did and, and uh, smokes him or, or Ngano cho shows that he's not a one-trick pony. Well, we'll see. Always a man of many words, Jeff. That's, that's, we, that's, why, <laughs> that's why we're going down there to find mm -hmm. out. So if you had a guess, do you think it's going to be a close competitive fight? you think Ngannou can win, or do you think Joshua's going to show that, hey, maybe you need to go back to your MMA well, stuff? Well, I mean, the one thing that Ngannou showed was basically he wasn't, he wasn't timid. He wasn't afraid of, of Tyson Fury. So he still was able to do the things that he was taught to do. And I think that he's going to still be able to do those things. And if he's able to do those things, he has a great chance of winning. The one thing for my very untrained eye that just seemed off was that it never seemed like Ngannou was really swinging for the fences. So for him, to, so if, if you told me he wouldn't have any, like, I mean, of course he knocked him down, but even that shot didn't seem like it was a massive, you know, winging shot. So if you'd have told me that he wouldn't land any massive punches, how would he do? I would have said oh, he's going to get smoked and he's going to get knocked out or look ridiculous. But he, like I said, he, depending on who you are, he may have won, won the fight. Yeah. A lot of people thought he won. Yeah. Did you? Mm, I thought it was a draw. It was a draw. I thought it was. I thought it was probably should have been a draw. All right. So where does this but put still, it? That, that that speaks volumes for a guy that never fought. Yeah. And then do you think Joshua? Do you think he's going to be more knowing the power that he has that Ngannou has, and Joshua's been touched before? Do you think he's going to do like an Andy Ruiz too, and kind of dance around and try to just outsmart him and outpoint him, or do you think he's going to say, you know, I hey, I'm going to? I think that that's what he's going to have to do. Because if he tries to uh, just, you know, be combative with, with um, Ngana, it probably, that probably ain't going to work for him. Have you ever met Joshua? I know he was here a couple of years ago. Did you ever get to talk to him? Um, I didn't get a chance to talk to him. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully I mean, we'll have... I've, 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 I've seen him. I've seen him a few times, and I mean, everybody says he's an extremely nice guy, so... Mm -hmm. Well, hope we get to hang out with both of them and, and see that fight. But looking forward to it, man. We might be out in the Middle East a lot going forward, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, a week after that, you would come back, and then you got Team Combat League starting up, head coach of the Las Vegas Hustle. Oh, yeah. You looking forward to that? Uh, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll be traveling every week. Well, not every week, but every other week, I guess, because you have fights will be home, home events. Yeah. But getting to go to different cities across America and, and spread that Jeff Mayweather joy. Yeah, let something your, like that. Let your fans come out and see you. That'd be nice. Yeah, you, which which team do you which coach do you really want to stick it to the most? Come on, talk. Let's start some trash right now. Uh, well, I'm not one of those kind of coaches. I'll just make up the headline. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Jeff says Dallas sucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas is is that's um. I don't remember who the oh, coach I think is. That's, I think that's Austin Trout. I think that's Austin Trout. I know him. Oh, is he actually coaching? The, oh, I, yeah. I think he, I think I think that's I think that's his team. Oh, okay. But I mean, I I mean, if we're gonna say anything, I'm gonna say something about the team that won the whole thing. It was that was uh, San Antonio, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's who I'm, I want to talk talk to. All right. So <laughs> you're call, so you say they suck right now. You're saying they suck, and you're gonna beat their ass. Yeah, you said Antonio suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, so that's going to be, uh, of course, Team Combat Live. Uh, check them out. Go to their website. We'll be streaming on the Mayweather channel as well. Um, a couple other sites will have it, and like I said, especially them. But check them out. It's a really cool concept. Um, and, of course, we got some of the fighters. We, one of you, we got uh, what, just one of your fighters, right? Deion Jones yeah, on your team? Deion Jones is on the team. Who else we got? You got Ava Knight. Is she on there, right? Or is she? Yeah, Ava's on the team. All right, so yeah, former world champion there. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a fun team. There's lots of uh, fun fighters around the the world an interesting concept so um very interesting concept yeah so like just one round each and there's the so therefore they they're not saving anything for the the second half of the fight it's one round and they're out so yeah, they're gonna be winging it. it all right and that's it's funny it's funny because ava actually came up to me today and she said jeff how am i gonna train for one round and i just told her i said i'm gonna be honest you're better to be a boxer than a person that's going to just go for broke. So you think almost treat almost like Olympics then, where you're point fighting? Yeah, I think so. I think so because the thing is that you could outsmart someone easier 
than trying to outfight them. Yeah. Well, you, you could also you, treat it like a round 12, though, right? You're behind in the cards and it's round 12? Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I mean, guys that punch, that, that can punch, that's what they're going to do anyway. Yeah. You know? But, I mean, but like I said, I mean, in, in this format, an amateur can actually be a, a, a seasoned pro. So, I mean, anything can happen. Anything can happen. And um, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it because every round should be energetic. And everybody's going for broke every round. So, hopefully, you know, it's going to be entertaining for anybody that's watching it. And to go on that point, you're saying there, uh, Flo, who's on the team, the other female, she dom. Oh, yeah, she's she's amazing. And I believe she's never even had an amateur fight, let alone a pro. And she dominated yeah. last year. I'm I'm if I'm not mistaken, she's never had an amateur fight. No, oh, she's so amazing. this is a girl that smoked everybody last year, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, just uh, did well, her you, thing. You just never know. You never know what's what's gonna happen. And then are the rumors true that you might be a player coach? Player coach, what's that? I Means you'll box and coach a team. No, nah, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Those days are gone. Yeah. <laughs> I might fight with a coach. Yeah, all right. Verbally. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jeff. Well, have fun, and we will document it. Stay, stay tuned to the Mayweather Channel. We'll be in, like I said, Puerto Rico, Saudi Arabia, and then back here and travel around to the Las Vegas Hustle. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude.